everyone, I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Kat, and hi to everyone that's obviously still watching. So as you can see from today's title, I am doing a trend that I actually saw on Instagram and then I saw a couple of people start doing it on YouTube. So I thought I'd hop on the bandwagon. So this video is gonna be showing me a photo of. On my Instagram last week, I did put on my story basically for you guys to ask me what you wanted to see a photo of. And obviously I'm just gonna pick a few and I'm gonna go over them now. Also, can we just point out how nice my hair looks? I know you're thinking my hair is not this long. No, I did buy, I bit the bullet and I bought some Beauty Works extensions. Um, the real hair ones in 22 inch ebony and I absolutely love it um, I'm proper vibing like so I feel like you know all flowy so I'm gonna get this started again I'm filming on my phone so everything is on my laptop so if I'm looking over here please don't judge me because I just need to save up my new camera so yeah okay one that someone my friend said and it's absolutely doing me dirty is to show me a picture of when i was 14. so because she obviously said it i'm including her in this picture so this is a picture of me and naomi this was in 2015 but it was in march so i hadn't turned 15 yet so i was still 14 years old it's probably one of the best pictures you'll ever see of me at that age i definitely had a glow up so this is us backstage when we were doing the school production of the wizard of oz we were both I don't even know what we were. We had, obviously you can see we've got rosy, like little rosy cheeks. We were just dancers and thing because uh, Naomi is an actual dancer. So yeah, she used to just teach me on the dances. So that is that. I'm really not gonna go into 14 year old me because 14 year old me was tragic. Okay, this one is a picture of me and my, one of my favorite teddy bears, Jebastian. I got Jebastian in summer 2000 and 14 or 15 maybe I can't remember what year exactly we went to South Africa to go to my grandpa and um, my dad bought me this giraffe unfortunately he is in the UK um, I did ask my mom to bring him but she forgot to pack him in the box and my stuff came last week so this is a picture of me and Jebastian I think I'm going to put two up on here because one of them is actually really funny Jebastian is one of my favorite teddies I have no shame I love my teddy bears I don't care so Obviously this first picture is at Fed, which is our rugby socials on a Wednesday at uni. And the theme was Noah's Ark. So thank God I asked this, I got the giraffe. So as you can see, I obviously painted my face like a giraffe and I took Jebastian to Pree's. I put him back in my room before we went out, don't worry. So he was safe. But yeah, so I absolutely adore Sebastian. He is one of my favorite teddy bears and I miss him. I miss him a lot. I can't lie, I miss him a lot. I even sleep with him as you can fucking see in the other picture. Um, but I've got no shame. No shame at all. Okay, this one is show me a photo of you and your mom. So I don't actually take many pictures with my mom. The first picture I could find that I knew I definitely had, again, was from 2015. So you can see I'm very young. I actually did have brown hair at this point. This is my natural hair color, I think. Um, so this is a picture of me and my mom at my brother's wedding, my brother James. He got married to my sister-in-law, Maria. Um, and it was just a rare occasion that I actually took a photo of mom. I don't really take photos with her, she's not really a camera person, so you can just enjoy another tragic picture of me at a young age. Um, I promise they get better, don't stress. But no, I do love my mom, I love her a lot. Um, we've become really close over the last like year and a half and so, so, you know, she's pretty darn cool. So, good old Sally Giles, eh? Okay, the next one, someone actually, okay, so this is show me a photo of Party Cat. Now, I can't really go into detail about what Party Cat is like, um, but Party Cat is a very fun type of cat that everyone at uni loved when she came out. Um, and it would all start with a knock knock. And uh, if obviously any of my friends from uni are watching, then obviously they all know what that means. I'm not going to go into it. So this is a photo of Party Cat where I absolutely died. It was a full moon rave from 10 o'clock in the evening till 6 a.m. I honestly, so this is the picture before, obviously I went out and then I will include the picture after I went out and you can actually see that I did not survive. I think I made it to about two in the morning um, because I was, I was, I was a mess. I was so bad. I don't even, I don't remember it. I really don't remember a lot of it. I can't lie, Party Cat came out quite a lot. She came out a lot on a Wednesday. She came out a lot on a Monday at Milk It, so. Pie cat was good. I kind of miss her, Loki. You know, she's she's my bad side, but she still looks after me, so I've got to say thanks. So, 
I also got, show me a photo of your first picture in your camera roll. So I actually had over 25,000 photos in my phone, on my old phone. Um, I am what you could call a photo hoarder. I don't like deleting pictures, I think they're memories, but my phone space was just so, like I, my photos took up all my room on my phone. So before I got this phone, I had to delete 22,000 pictures. So I had to really go through and be strict on myself, like what ones did I not need? What ones did I want to keep? So the very first picture is obviously the picture of me and my dad. This was actually, I can't remember when this was. I think it might have been in 2016. I'm going to check for you and I'll put the date. But basically he picked me up from Dubai Airport. I was coming to visit. So he picked me up and I took the picture when I got out the plane and was on the way to the car. Nothing much more to that, but that was defo. I decided to keep it because again, I don't take many photos with my dad. My parents aren't very camera people. It's very rare and I can't really get a serious one with my dad. He always has to put a face. Okay, show me a photo of your pets. Now, I'm only gonna show you one of my pets. I do actually have a dog and I have two cats here, but my favorite pet of all time has to be my dog, Gizmo. Gizmo is my mom's Shih Tzu in the UK. At first I hated him. I thought he was a really ugly dog. I didn't like him at all. Um, but over time, you know, there was one night I went out and I got really, really drunk because I'm a teenager, that's what we do. So I was really ill. So I basically, because I drank too much, I woke up in the middle of the night to be sick and Gizmo came and sat with me on the bathroom floor while I was chundering. And then once I'd finished and I went back into my bedroom, he came into my room with me, lay on my bed with me until I got up again to go be sick and he came with me again and essentially just stayed with me that entire night to make sure I was okay. And that was definitely a turning point, I want to say, where I was like, okay, Gizmo is not so bad. And now he is, honestly, I miss that dog. Okay, show me a photo of your last photo in your camera roll. This is my dad. I don't even, this is, I can't even, this is the very last photo on my camera roll is my dad. So two nights ago, I was, Dean wasn't staying here, Dean was at home. I was in the bathroom, like on the phone to Dean, I was brushing my teeth, whatever. And as I came out the bathroom door, I could hear my dad and my stepmom, Veronica. I could hear them coming up the stairs. And my dad normally will come into my room and say goodnight to me or something like that. And I just had this feeling that he would have, like he would walk in, like he'd be stood by my bedroom door. So I opened my bathroom door um, and directly in front of me is this man in a dinosaur, a crocodile. I don't even know what fucking onesie it is. But it scared me so much that I screamed, like I'll proper scream down the phone to Dean and Dean was like, yo, that was loud and I apologize, but it proper shit me up. Like honestly, proper made me jump. So I put that on my private story on Instagram. So that's why I have a picture of my dad in a onesie. Just, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know, but I just take, you know, I've got random photos of my dad in random costumes on my phone. I've got him dressed as Santa as well from Christmas, so. The next one is show me a photo of you when you are at your happiest. Every day, I don't even care, it's gonna be all mushy now, oh, I don't care. Every day that I spend with Dean is probably one of the happiest days of my life, but by far the happiest moment of my life was as my stay K with Dean. Um, I think just because it was so nice for the two of us just to actually get away from everyone and it was just me and him, we just focused on us. And we had such a nice time. We had a whole movie moment and everything under this pillow in front of this massive pool. And it's like, no one would ever, no one can ever beat that. And I think that is, that that movie moment, like I can't explain what it was like because you'll just be like, I remember telling my friends afterwards and they're like, Kat, you're so like bent, like stop crying about it. But for us, like in that moment, it was just so perfect. Like something you'd see on a movie and cry at, you know? And it just re like, so for me, that's defo the best met like moment of my life so i just took put in a picture obviously me and dean this was the night that the movie night the movie moment happened before we went out for dinner and it was just so perfect and i honestly wish i could read that every single day i mean I, every day with him makes me so happy but that was personally the best memory i think i've ever i've ever made like i've never i'll never have that movie moment with anyone else i'll never get a movie moment like that and it was just nice I actually had a movie moment. So now I'm holding on to that one. That is the best moment of my life. As I had said before, I did spend the summer with Laurie in Greece, trying to work. 
Um, it was very difficult, like because of COVID, there was no, we were meant to go out with jobs and we just didn't. But we did end up dancing at Star Beach and we loved it. We would do Tuesdays and Saturdays at the parties at Star Beach. So someone from Greece messaged saying, show me a photo of Star Beach. So this is a photo that the photographer took while dancing of me at Star Beach on the platform podiums above the stage. It was honestly such an amazing experience. Like, and I'm not even a proper dancer, but the first time we ever went, we were just like, we were sober. We and Laura were so sober. And we were just like, fuck it, let's just dance. And we were just dancing. And then they were like, do you want to go up on the stage? So we was like, uh, okay. And then afterwards they were like, we want you to come and dance. And it was amazing. Like it was so much fun and it was so nice. Like we danced on tables in the swimming pool. We were on swings. Like we did it for about two and a half weeks, but because we obviously we left but it was so, so good. Like, I'm not even doing an ad, but I'm just saying, if you go to Hassanasos, like in Greece, go to Star Beach. Okay, and then I also got, show me a photo of your favorite picture in Greece. So this photo actually is the same day that I did one of the scariest things in my life, but I did it, which then leads me on to the next picture of me just after I finished the bungee jumping. Now, I've never bungee jumped. I'm not a heights person. I hate heights. If I see a height, like if I'm quite high up, I will cry. And this photo was taken. Laurie did it first, and then I was really, really nervous. And I just, I was like, I can't. I went up with Laurie and realized it was so high that I, sh like, I just couldn't do it. So I went back down. I kind of like, you know, calm, like calmed myself down, recollected my thoughts. And then I was like, do you know what? If I don't do it, I'm never going to do it. So it was a 200 feet bungee jump. The video I will actually include the video as well just so you can see because Lori did film me doing the jump for me i do scream on the way down going fuck me but it was so so good i did the bungee jump twice so the whole reason the first picture is my one of my favorite pictures from greece is because without Lori, i wouldn't have done that and it's always good to have a friend that will make you try new things and i'm honestly really grateful that we went and that she helped me and convinced me to do it because it's although i'm still fucking scared of heights i will never skydive but it's so nice to say that I've actually bungee jumped because it was such a good experience for me. So that is why they are my two favorite photos from my holiday in Greece. Okay, then I had someone just put in a bunch of dates, like just random dates. So I got the 30th of July of 2020. So this is a picture of me and Dean. We were at Dean's dad's house having a little sesh. Um, this was actually the night that Dean told me he loved me. So for me, it kind of holds a special place in my heart. And then obviously the next day he asked me to be his girlfriend. Okay, and then this one is show me a photo of your siblings. Now, I this is going to be a bit complicated to explain. I actually have five siblings. So I have two, an older brother, an older sister, and then another older brother. And then I have a young sister and a younger brother. But they're not related. So my mom, on my mom's side, is my brother, my sister, my brother, me. And then on my dad's side, it's me, my sister, my brother. This first photo is a photo of me, my sister, and my two sister-in-laws. And Naomi does a, Naomi's in this, because we went out together. Um, I don't actually have photos with my brothers, really. So, and then this is my little sister, Amelia. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I kind of put her up there sometimes. Um, she's very much glued to our iPad. And so is my little brother. And this is my little brother, Callum. So you've got my younger siblings. You can totally tell they're blonde. Um, and blue eyes, and then my dad, um, my older siblings are all brown hair and pretty much brown eyes. We've got the, we've got mom's jeans. Woo! So guys, that was the end of my video. I hope you guys all liked it. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and push that bell notification and you'll get updated every time I upload something. My Sheen haul is coming shortly. I know I said that in my previous video, but I was gonna do that Sheen haul first, but then I decided to film this because I've got a schedule going on. Um, I do like the show me a photo of video, like I do like watching them and I like seeing them on Instagram because I just think sometimes, especially in this pandemic, it's so nice to just relive some of your favourite memories because it really just shows, like it just reminds you and just fills you with so much more emotion and I think it's just so good for everyone to just take a moment, go for their camera roll and just relive some of the best moments of their life, you know? And I feel like people are forgetting because of COVID and what's going on at the moment with, especially in England with everyone in lockdown, you know, you've got to just remember what was important and like good, like live vicariously for your photos, for your videos. I do it all the time. And it's just a nice reminder of obviously how much fun you had. And it will be a good 
way for you to be like, oh, I'm so excited for lockdown to be over. Like, I'm so excited to go out and do all this stuff again with my friends. And it will just be a nice kind of like little motivation boost to kind of get you out in, uh, get you out of a slump if you're in one. So yeah. Anyway, guys, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.